How to set up recurring payments in Stripe. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great. And uh, I bring you back another video. In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can add recurring payments and recurring products in your Stripe account. So basically, what is a recurring payment, you ask? Recurring payments are payments that a customer has to recurrently pay you. So for example, if I were to give you daily life examples, it could be your cable bill, your house bill, your electricity bill. You, these are recurring payments because every month you pay them. So that's what recurring payments are, that someone has to pay them on a plan, uh, basically a subscription. So yeah, that's uh, the main overview of what a recurring payment is. Now I'm going to show you how you can add it to your Stripe account. So it's uh, going to be an easy process, some simple steps. I'm going to guide you right through it. And by the end of this video, you're going to do what you came here for. Okay. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and uh, Stripe. Here you're going to see the first link, Stripe.com. So you're just going to go on this. I'm going to wait for it to load up. Now you're going to obviously need to sign up for Stripe. And uh, we're just going to click on start now if you want to start up. So here they're going to ask you to sign up and create your very own Stripe account. Now make sure to put in your real information. You're going to put in your nationality. You're going to put in your password. Make sure to get a strong password. Okay, so now we're going to create our account and we're just going to wait for it to create it. It's going to send us a verification email on our Gmail. So I'm just going to verify it and come right back. Okay, so once you have verified your email, over here they're going to say activate payments on your account. Fill out your business profile to start accepting payments. This is for accepting payments and activating it. You can activate if you want to, but I'm just going to skip for now because activating payments takes a lot of time because you have to add in all your details. So I just don't want to do that right now. So yeah, basically this is the main interface of our Stripe account. Now on our Stripe account, we have different tabs, for example, payments, balances, customers, products, reports. In payments, you can obviously see the different payments you've done, you've received, etc. regarding your products. In balances, you can see your account balances that you currently have your top ups and your payouts. When you go to customers and customers, you can find your customers, basically the people you have approached or the people you've invited or the people that approach you for your product. And um, once we go in products, this is where we'll have to start our main work. So I'll come to this in a while, but I'm just going to show you a bit of Stripe again. So if we go in more and more, we can see a ton of these options. For example, there are direct payments payment links, invoicing, you can uh, pay subscription plans. There's multi-party payments in which uh, there's different platforms you can pay on. Then there's financial services, business operations, many things. So yes, that's uh, the main uh, outlay of what we're about to use in Stripe. So let's just go directly into products. And now I'm going to show you how you can make your recurring product for your recurring payment. So you're going to go and click on add product and you're just going to give it uh, give your product a name for example let's put in a car let's put in a honda civic rs turbo and you want a recurring payment of 400 dollars per month that's the recurring payment you want so that's the name you're going to put and then you're going to give the description regarding your name product uh, you can even upload an image of your product if you want to which is purely optional and then if we go on additional options, we can see the statement descriptor. This is obviously also optional. If you have uh, any difficulty understanding this, uh, there's this info box which you can use. For example, the statement descriptor is adding a statement descriptor will override your account descriptor for payments. And uh, then the unit label is uh, how you sell your product. Basically, for example, if you charge the seat and use seat as a unit label, it will be included in the line item as the price per seat. So yeah, that's basically your unit label, but we're not going to touch that because that's just as we can see additional options that we don't want to use right now. So in the pricing model, we're obviously going to go on standard pricing. We're going to put in our price and make sure you're going to click on recurring. We're going to put in our price, which is $400. Obviously, make sure you change it to dollars once that is done. In the billing period, obviously, we want it monthly, even though we can do it weekly, every three months, every six months, or annually. But we're going to do it monthly. The rest, you don't really need to mess around with. And then you're just going to go and save product. Now, once the product saves, then I'll show you what you can do with it more. Now, once the product is saved, 
what you can do with this is this is the API ID that you can give to your customers, for example. You can copy this and give to your customers. When your customers put this in, this is where they can pay you basically for your product. And uh, this is basically, we've just created a recurring product, but how are we gonna create a payment link? So, you know, to get recurring payments. Right down here, you're gonna see this plus sign and you're just gonna click on create payment link. And once you do that, you're gonna add your company name again. For example, again, you're gonna write shoes and and this is just a random name. You don't really need, need to add a proper name. I just added this for research purposes. Now, once you've done that, uh, you're gonna see that they've given you this preview. So for example, this is what the user is gonna see when they're gonna come and try to buy your product. So it's gonna be uh, subscribe to Honda Civic RS Turbo $400 per month. And here's the price, $400 per month. And here they're just gonna put in, they're gonna either pay with their Apple ID or they're just gonna put in their card, debit or credit, and then they're gonna subscribe. And by that, what will happen is it will start cutting off subscriptions. And that is how you'll get recurring payments. This is obviously the desktop view. You can even check the mobile view. It, and this is how it's gonna look like on mobile phones. So yeah, and uh, you can also add the quantity of your product. For example, if you wanna add two, you can make two. If you wanna add three, it's gonna make it 1,200. You can add 10, it can make it $4,000. Or you can just let the customers adjust the quantity so yeah basically that's how you can do it so you can even set a limit for the customers to set you can add more products if you want to in this one page and yeah that's basically it and then in the other options you can collect the customer's address if you want to which is i guess that's a good step because you should do that you can ask for the billing and shipping address then uh, require a customer to provide a phone number if you want to have their number and uh, you can even give them a free trial if they want to use your product and you can keep it for however many days you like and in the advanced options you can allow different promotion codes for your product you can allow different business customers to provide tax ids if you just want to be sure and once you do that you're just going to create link and you're gonna take that link and you're gonna send it around uh, to customers. You're gonna put it on advertisements so that people subscribe to your product. Now, once someone subscribes to your product, they're gonna come down here and customers. And then you can just click on them and uh, their names are gonna come down here. You're gonna click on their names. Once you click on their names, uh, it's gonna give you an option to set a recurring payment period for this person. For example, if you wanna tell them or give them a notification that this is the period that you have for this payment, if you don't do it by then, then obviously you will cut off their subscription. And that can automatically be done in the settings. You just set a time period under the name and if they haven't paid in that time period, your subscription will automatically be cut off from that customer. So yeah, that's how you get your recurring payments. And once you get all your payments, they're gonna get stored here in uh, your USD balances and different types of top-ups we'll just show here if more funds are made to you. And uh, yeah, uh, using that balance in your wallet, you can go on payments and you can make payments to different people. You can even buy a subscription for yourself over here and you can invest in different things through this. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. And uh, here you can even add more new accounts if you want to. For example, I just have one, but you can add more than one account, more than one business ventures. But yeah, make sure before doing all of this, the most important step is obviously adding your payment method. So you're just gonna put in the type of business you have. You're gonna go on continue. Then they're just gonna ask you your business details. They're gonna ask you full fulfillment details. They're gonna ask your public details. You're gonna put in all of this. They're gonna add, ask you to add your bank. Now, if you want to secure your account, they're going to ask you to send uh, around, I think, one or two dollars to your uh, from your bank to the Stripe website so they can verify that the bank account you've provided is actually yours. And then you can add extras if you want to. Uh, those are purely optional. And then you can just review your account one time and finish. So, yeah, basically, that's the gist of it. Be sure to put in your correct information, for example, your address, your phone number, your social security number. You have to put this in and it should be accurate. So yeah, once all of that is done, your account will be fully set it up and accessible. And with that, you can make recurring payments and you can set them up as you like. And uh, yeah, that's how easy it is to set things up over here. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any problems, you can let me know down in the comments.
And if you want more videos like this, you can let me know that also down in the comments and I will get back to you. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe and share the video. It really helps me out. Leave a nice comment if you like the video. And uh, yeah, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.